Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is maximum units on a truck. You are assigned to put some amount of boxes onto one truck. You are given a 2D array, box types, where box types I uh, contains the number of boxes and the number of units per box. Now the number of boxes is the number of boxes of, the, of this type, and the number of units per box is the number of units in each box of that type. You're also given an integer truck size, which is the maximum number of boxes that you can put onto the truck. You can choose any of the boxes to put on the truck as long as the number of boxes does not exceed truck size. Return the maximum total number of units that can be put on the truck. So what that means is we want to get the maximum number of units regardless of type. So we want to maximize that while fitting as many boxes as we can onto our truck. So there's really no reason to complicate this. If we wanted to do this like manually, what would we do? We would take the boxes with the, the most units and put those all onto the truck until we run out of space or uh, we finished all the boxes. So to do this, I think the best way would be to sort our boxes and uh, types by, by descending order of the total number of units per box because obviously we want to put the boxes with the most units onto our truck and then we'll just iterate down and try to fit as many boxes as we can so let's begin by first sorting our box types and we can use a lambda function say t equals lambda x which is going to be x, the second item on our list and we're going to make that negative to make it descending Okay, so now we have, um, we're gonna have to keep track of the capacity, which is how many boxes that we put on so far. It starts with zero. And I'm gonna say four, I guess number of boxes and the number of units in box types. What are we going to do? Well, generally we'll be just putting as many boxes as we can, right? But keep in mind that uh, we have a certain number of boxes. We might not be able to put on, put in all those boxes into our truck, depending on the truck size. So what we'll do is check to see if we have enough space to begin with. So we'll say if our, let's see, pass, well, I guess we'll keep track of it in truck size. We'll say truck size. If truck size is less than the number of boxes that we have, Well, actually, we'll start with if it's greater. We'll say if it's greater or equal to the number of boxes we have, then all we need to do is uh, first decrease from our truck size, however many boxes there are, and we need to add to our capacity box times unit. Now, otherwise, if we find that we don't have enough truck size for all the boxes in this unit type, we're going to try to fit as many as we can, which would just be however many, many we have left on our truck size, right? So that would be capacity uh, plus equal truck size times units. And make sure to break here because after that, we've technically run out of space in our truck size. Now just return up the capacity and that would be it. So let's see if this works. Okay, that looks like it works. So let's submit it. There we go, accepted. There are certainly ways that you can clean up this code, uh, but it's probably the most optimal one. Time complexity wise, it's going to be n log n, and we go over this just n times. So one thing that we've been able to avoid here is doing a while loop in here, running it multiple times for every single box. Um, we don't need to do that. We just need to see if we have enough space and then just multiply that by the number of units. And if we don't, then however much space is remaining, multiply that by the number of units and add that and break it. Okay. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.